Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the month of November 2023. First card out for you is lightning, and it did come out in reversed, but I want you to look at this upright. We can see here there's actually like a human spirit outlined within this lightning bolts and the spirit of lightning is very powerful as a spirit guide and also this card is representing your overall spiritual energy and lessons this month for you and this is actually a really positive sign because the universe in november is handing you your destiny that you wanted that you prayed for that you hoped for like straight up but here's the weird thing guys some of you, a lot of you, for whatever reason, are just going to feel a little bit hesitant to accept this destiny. It's strange, but it's like you literally wanted this, you asked for this. Um, it's a life-changing opportunity. Um, but I don't know if it's like this opportunity comes and it doesn't feel as life-changing as you thought it would feel when it came. Um, but it's here. I'll give you an example. Like, let's just say you really want to manifest a beautiful spouse and family for yourself, and then you start dating. The universe may literally have you meet your soulmate this month. However, it's not going to be like lightning strikes and like, oh my gosh, my the stars are in my eyes and blah, blah, blah. Like, no one's going to come down from the heavens and be like, this is your soulmate. So some of you may you know, really hesitate on taking a new offer. Honestly, it feels to me like whatever's happening, it's like the offers on the table, the opportunities on the table. But I feel, Virgo, that Spirit is saying like, don't fumble this. <laughs> Do not fumble this, accept your destiny and be very courageous, very daring uh, this month because, you know, there is a gift coming through that is totally in alignment with your passion. And it's just, so harmonious with what you want and with the world at large and you know it's it's time for you to accept this so oof, very interesting uh we have the crocodile spirit oh my gosh this makes so much sense coming through as just your overall energy and spirit guide uh, this month and you know what the crocodile spirit uh, feels very similar to what we just said because crocodiles sit there and they wait and they wait and they wait until they just move very quickly and get what they want. Um, I see you in a very similar energy where you're waiting and waiting and waiting for your destiny to unfold or for something to finish or for this magical moment to come where it's like, okay, now I'm ready to do this. And spirit's saying, you know, you're not going to feel ready you will never feel ready when it comes to this opportunity we're giving you. Uh, for example, some of you may really want to start your own business and you keep saying, you know, the time's not right, the time's not right, I'll do it after this and then after this and then after this and you never end up doing it because you will never feel prepared, I promise you. I started many different businesses within my umbrella business and you never quite feel ready for any new project you take on because it's new, you know? Um, let's say you want to start a YouTube channel. You're never going to feel ready. You're going to say, I don't have the camera. I don't have the equipment. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot going on in my life. You literally just have to get started. Same thing with going to the gym. I see this all the time when it comes to fitness and people who keep saying, I want to start going to the gym. I want to get fit. And then they keep saying, but I can't this week because so-and-so. And then the next week, so and so so maybe i'll start like in a month the time will be perfect and it's like if you really want to do this you have to just get started because you know what once you get started th those excuses are still going to be there you know what i mean and you're not going to actually get into a routine you know if you actually want to get fit you actually want to go to the gym it's something you should do every single week at least bare minimum three times a week you know what i mean and so if you're making excuses now and you're not even getting started like you're, you're already failing. You're already failing in the worst way possible because you did not even start. You did not even try. And I feel that message coming in so strongly for you, Virgo. Spirit's saying, like, take a leap of faith this month because the thing that you want in your future is at your fingertips on your lap we literally brought it to you but you have to be bold and accept it even if you don't feel ready for it mm. all right 
Message from your spirit guides. We have support and notice all these hands holding this egg, keeping the fertility alive and making sure this precious fragile thing is well protected. That's what your spirit guides are doing for you. And it says this, people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. For some of you, this, uh, faded thing may be a relationship someone in your life who um is literally like destined to be with you long term uh whether it is a spouse or even a child some of you may be saying i really want a child but i don't feel ready i don't feel ready spirit's saying you're never gonna feel ready <laughs> so i mean just prepare in a physical sense like if you can afford it if you have the space you know whatever like just do it because you know once you have that child there's no more excuses you can make you know it's not like oh i don't feel like parenting today i got a lot going on i'll just parent tomorrow you can't make that excuse anymore so it's like <laughs> if you really want it just get started that may be bad advice if you're prepared for it okay um same thing with love like i just want a soulmate i just want love relationship blah 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 but oh i can't date now i can't date now it's not the right time Meh. or i can't commit to you now i gotta wait like i gotta figure things out and it's like once you commit that's it you know it's not like today i don't feel like being committed to you so i'm gonna go out and cheat you know it's like once you're in it, you're in it. So Spirit's saying you just have to take that leap of faith. You will not feel ready, but you just got to trust because this is what you wanted. And nobody said it was going to be 100% easy. Nobody said that it was going to... Like you were gonna be 100% confident about it. You're a human and you have doubts and that's totally fine. That's normal, that's cool. But you know, if you really want to live your life, live your dream, you have to take the leap. So, oof, strong messages coming in for you guys. We're gonna get six cards, two rows of three from the Heaven and Earth Tarot. First card out is the High Priestess in Reverse, which is a card of not following your intuition. Mm, 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 mm. Can also be a card of keeping things to yourself, secrets, something like that. Guys, this is the psychic card. Your intuition is saying, yes, 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 I don't want to miss out on this. I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't want to fumble this. And you're not listening. <laughs> In the beginning of November, at least, you're not listening. At the time you're watching this, you're not listening to it. You know, spirit is saying opportunity is here. Go with full dick it, okay? Like go balls to the wall with this opportunity, put your whole heart out there. Tell them you love them, all right? Tell them you love them. Or take this opportunity, you know? Call the CEO of the company that you want to work at and introduce yourself. Like, who's gonna stop you? You know, will they reject you? Maybe, but at least you tried, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. All right, second card out. <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups. Wow, yeah, I, I definitely feel like this is an emotional beginning for a lot of you uh, watching here. And like I said, this could be a baby that you decide, you know what? I've been talking about having a baby for a long time. Now you know, I'm never gonna feel 100% ready, but physically I'm okay. Uh, financially I'm okay. We just gotta we just gotta go for it. And then you know you're not in your girlfriend or vice versa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or you know this could be like. Um, you all you want a relationship you really like someone you're like, oh, I don't know. Let's date. Let's see situationship energy And it's like just full send it y'all. Okay, put a ring on it You're never going to feel 100% certain about anything in life. Okay, anything so I don't know spirits saying go for it. Just do it. All right Start the business do the thing so that, our third card out, we have the Knight of Wands in reversed. Um, guys, I feel really guided to say right now, this is what you look like <laughs> when you hesitate. The Knight of Wands reversed is someone who is very indecisive, like I feel passionate about this thing, but not having the like mature, not I don't know if maturity is the right word, the maturity, the gusto to 
see it through. You know, the Knight of Wands in reverse is very flaky, uncertain, commitment issues type of energy. Uh, this is the energy that you are giving off uh, when you don't, you know, fully go for it, okay? Spirit wants you to be aware of that because um, not only is this how other people will perceive you, but this is also how the universe is perceiving you, okay? So if the universe is seeing like, oh, well, that Virgo there, um, we give them opportunities, we give them new beginnings, and they don't really act on them, or um, they're, they're afraid of committing to it, you know, maybe we should send them less opportunities. Maybe we should give those opportunities to people who really do, like, commit to it and will appreciate it and cherish it. So, oh my gosh. This could also be, I'm seeing this as someone in your life. They could be a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing for some of you, this could be, like, a family member, this could be like a sibling, cousin, or even like a friend who, um, how do I put this? They feel like either your age or younger. Even if they are your age, they have like a sort of, I don't wanna say problematic. <laughs> um, they get themselves into a lot of shenanigans. Okay, let's put it like that. Uh, so they are coming through this month as well. So you may be taking on this sort of like supportive, protective role with them, but also being very frustrated because it's like, they almost feel not like rebellious, maybe a little bit rebellious, but reckless, that's the word. There's someone in your life here who makes a lot of reckless decisions and you're like, are you kidding me? And you may constantly be the voice of reason for them, you know, trying to get them out of these um, situations. And I don't know, there's something that may be popping off with that person this month. I'm just letting you know now, okay? So it doesn't catch you by surprise. Second row out, fourth card is the strength card. Yeah, I think you guys are going to have the gusto to commit to this thing, this new beautiful relationship or idea or whatever it may be. Um, this is you being vulnerable and going for it, showing, um, showing up for it, being very strong and um, sharing your feelings, putting yourself out there. I, I see you being very courageous, very, very bold. Fifth card out is the Seven of Swords, unstable effort. Now, this is really interesting. <laughs> um, one thing I wanna say here, guys, try to avoid hiding critical pieces of information from people. Okay, because we have the High Priestess reversed and the Seven of Swords here. You know, this is telling me like little white lie energy and I feel like it's coming from you. Um, it could be coming from someone else where it's like they're not telling you the full story. So I don't know, I would just be very open, upfront and authentic with the people in your life, even if it's difficult, even if it's challenging. For example, like say you're dating someone and you're not quite in a committed relationship and you're seeing other people. Um, you might want to literally tell them like, hey, I'm seeing other people just so you know, but whatever. Like just so there's no space for coming off as a liar. Also, one thing I want to say, guys, and this is just my my personal <laughs> observation. Some people are very, very psychic, okay? And let me tell you, as one of those people, <laughs> there is nothing more anxiety-inducing and annoying than when I can pick up that someone is not telling me the full truth, the full story, or their full feelings. Like they're hiding feelings from me. Even if it's not like lying about anything bad or dramatic, even if it's just them feeling a little bit um, insecure or resentful towards me, and they don't wanna tell me that because you know, whatever, conflict avoidance, I can still pick up on that energy and it feels one billion times worse when I can pick up on an energy and it's not being talked about by the person whose energy it is, as opposed to them just saying, hey, I'm feeling a little bit insecure or uh, resentful, let's talk about it. Like, don't hide things at all. Please and thank you, okay. <laughs> um, sixth card out is the Princess of Swords in reverse, right underneath the Knight of Wands in reverse here. You know what? It, it feels really, really interesting. So I'm feeling the presence of it feels like one person in your life who is like this strength character here like very divine okay like sent from heaven okay this is like an angel on earth 
a dream come true type of person who is treating you very right. They're very stable. They're very open with you. They are someone you do not want to lose because honestly, these people are very hard to come by and you have one in your life. But the weird thing that I'm seeing here is that there are other people in your life who are not like this. They are very immature, okay? Very like mind gamey with the prin princess of swords reverse. This is giving me like mind games, okay? Someone who's like, uh, how does this, how do I even describe this energy? Have you ever like seen those reels or like the memes about like the girl best friend and she's, and the dude's like, oh, she's just my best friend. And then you like meet her for the first time and she's like, oh my God and like hops on the guy and like is like basically like dry humping him and like kissing him on the on the cheek and like they have sleepovers but oh my gosh they're just friends it, it, <laughs> it's giving me that level of like annoyingness and immaturity this is someone in your life this could be a friend this could be someone i don't know and then i'm seeing this person here who i felt was more so like a family member they don't have to be a family member they could also be a friend or like a neighbor who is just very reckless so i'm seeing like there are immature people in your life, people who, you know, they they feel like they have the emotional intelligence of someone who's like a teenager or in their early 20s, where it's just like, oh man, I just wanna party all the time. I wanna be reckless, like making bad decisions financially, like whatever. Um, that's what they feel like. And then the universe literally hands you an opportunity to be around people who ha who have things going in their life, or this could literally be a person, okay, who is serious, who wants something serious. Um, and you know, this new this newer energy makes you feel like an adult. <laughs> How do I put that? Like you could even be 50, and I think you could resonate with what I'm saying here. This is someone who makes you feel mature, divine, like you have your life together. Um, like you, you have ambition, you're going somewhere, there's a seriousness, you're leaving behind a legacy, that adult-like energy. Some people live to be like 70 and they never even get to that point of being an adult. You know, they're, they're still stuck in a, a very immature mindset. And so I'm seeing the universe literally handing you either an opportunity that will connect you with people like that or literally a person in your life who already is like that and i feel like spirit is bullying you in this reading saying don't fumble the bag okay focus on that person take this opportunity while it's here and honestly like maybe you should consider putting less energy into these more immature like sloppy baggage relationships or friendships that you have on the side here, you know? Less, put less stock into them, more stock into, you know, this super healthy, mature adult uh, energy and idea that you have here, you know? It just feels like here you are and the universe ha presents you an opportunity. This could be an idea, it could be a person, like someone who wants to like marry you, start a family, or a business idea that you really feel passionate about, you wanna grow it, you want to explore it, and you, you're really like in this like energy of, like you feel like your life is, is coming together, but then you're being held back by some of the people in your life because they're just immature. I don't know how else to put it, okay? So that's your week or your month, guys, all right? Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this month ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Um, if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.